What tax proposals have been introduced this session? Well, there have been discussions about uh, a carbon tax, a capital gains tax, um, about putting taxes on e-cigarettes, about closing a variety of uh, smaller tax exemptions on businesses throughout the state. And, um, and I think probably in the end, there may be, there, there's room for a discussion, particularly about closing tax exemptions where maybe those exemptions have outlived their purpose. But um, I, I'm not sure that there's a political will in the legislature this year for any huge new kinds of taxes um, to fund the operating budget. And the main reason for that is that we've got $3 billion in extra revenue coming in through economic growth, 9% uh, uh, revenue growth this year, and that's a good thing for the state of Washington. That helps us to do our budget process, and uh, we'll still have some tough choices to make about prioritization, but it's th at the end of the day, nothing beats economic growth in terms of funding our state budget. What's the latest on transportation funding in the legislature? Well, the uh, House Transportation Committee held a hearing on Thursday um, to talk about uh, an 11.7 cent gas tax and as that gas tax uh, proposal was passed out of the Senate, it was accompanied by a series of eight reform bills. And uh, I consider those reforms, just as I know that the senators who passed that bill uh, consider it to be critical to the overall package. Uh, if we're going to ask uh, drivers to pay more at the gas pump, uh, we're gonna have to ensure that uh, there's accountability at the Department of Transportation and that they have better business practices, that it's more cost effective and I think those reforms go a long way to doing that. I hope that we'll offer additional reforms here on the House side. I've certainly been involved in, in uh, proposing some of those reforms over the last three years, and uh, it, you know, it's critical that we deliver results uh, in addition to finishing critical infrastructure like Highway 167 in our district that just uh, you know, should have been completed years ago, and uh, I'm glad is included in that, uh, that package. What is the latest on making college more affordable for students and families? Well, there was a proposal that came out of the Senate by Senator Braun that would actually lower tuition, which would be a historic thing and would get the attention of the entire country if we did that. Um, and, and I think that that's a really important discussion to have. You know, after years of tuition increases and years of state cuts to higher education funding, the legislature on a bipartisan basis decided to freeze tuition in 2013. And I think there's a commitment in all four caucuses of the legislature in this budget process in 2015 to continue that freeze, if not actually reduce tuition. And that's the proposal that came out of the Senate that we had a hearing on in the House Higher Education Committee on Thursday. Um, I'm hopeful that we can move that kind of proposal forward because I think that is what would send a strong signal to this state's students and our middle class families that we're committed to having a highly educated state, that we're committed to uh, minimizing the debt load of our students, that we're committed to uh, overall economic development, bringing jobs to our state, and uh, that's, that's the kind of investment that we've got to make. And we've got to backfill. We've got to make sure that our institutions are kept whole in the process, that uh, the state is uh, keeping its bargain uh, side of the bargain in funding higher education. But we need to do everything we can to make uh, life more bearable for our students and middle class families.